So how did I sign and close a nine figure e-com brand for 8K per month as a complete beginner? Now to give you guys some context, my name is Kasim and before I started using the method that I'm gonna go through in this video, I was stuck. Uh, after watching obviously loads of YouTube videos and also watching courses from SMMA gurus that you all, you all know, pretty much probably the same as you, I struggled for over a year, putting in as much effort as I possibly could when I was 17 to sign a client that was actually anywhere near a big company that could pay me anything more than 1K per month. Most of the clients that I did sign in that whole year span of putting in so much effort to do outreach and to do sales and all that kind of stuff was only companies that were just like startups or very, very small e-com brands or local businesses or like dropshipping stores that could pay me something like $500 per month to do a lot of things for them. But as soon as I quit doing that and I started to use this method that I'm gonna go, gonna go through in this video, I signed five clients in one week that were all around five to 10K per month retainers, one of them being this nine figure worldwide, worldwide known e-commerce brand that I'm gonna show you in this video that now pays me over 8.5K per month for what we do for them every single month. And within six months of starting using this method, uh, I was at over 50K per month in profit, whereas, after a year of trying the SMMA way, uh, of trying to follow other YouTube videos and other gurus that exist right now and what they teach, nothing worked. And I was never even anywhere near 10K per month, let alone 50K a month that I hit within six months of using this method. And here's a screenshot of that 6K, uh, 8K per month retainer, which is 6K pounds, because I'm from the UK. And here's the screenshot of my uh, recent monthly revenue from my agency. Now, just, just so you know, this method that I'm gonna tell you about and I'm gonna show you doesn't just work for me. I've also, obviously, after I did it for myself, uh, I've also shown a few other guys that came to me and asked to help them uh, to do it for themselves. And here's a few examples of them. So here's a guy called Adam. He closed a 20K upfront client. So they paid three months upfront for 20K uh, using this method that I'm about to show you within three weeks of starting. Uh, here's a screenshot of uh, him telling me that. Uh, a guy called Owen, a 20 year old from the USA, complete beginner, uh, hadn't run an agency before at all or anything before in the, in, in the past. He booked in a call with a multiple seven figure per month e-com brand, probably the same size as the one that I sent in this video, if not even maybe bigger, uh, in a few days of starting his outreach. Literally three or four days after he started his outreach, um, he, he booked in that call with a massive, massive e-com brand and here's a screenshot of, of him doing that, uh, which is insane. You know, like a beginner with no past case studies. And when I say beginner as well, when I say as a beginner, I mean that in a way where I had zero case studies to show, I had zero testimonials to show, I had zero results to show. And these guys that I'm showing you right now, they also are the same. They had nothing to show, but they still uh, got these results from the way that they're doing their outreach. And the last guy as well, um, Amir, who's a 19 year old, again, complete beginner, uh, uh, just about to go to university. He, uh, within three weeks of doing his outreach, uh, starting, it closed a massive, and I mean, I don't even know how big they are, but probably nine figure e-com brand that sponsors the UFC. That's how mad it is. I found out that they sponsor the UFC, uh, like on the ring, uh, for 5K per month, uh, within three weeks of starting his outreach. So he's sending them for 5K per month and 15% rev share. Uh, and this is, this is a screenshot of him doing that. Now first, before we go into the actual method, let me kind of make sure that you understand and you're aware of why I could never sign clients like this before. And I'm sure that this is the exact reasons as to why you've never signed a client or you lack consistency with sending clients this big uh, that can pay you numbers like five to 10K per month, but themselves, the companies themselves are actually massive companies that you love working with, that you actually are proud of the fact that you're working with them, not just some random companies that you're not really proud of telling anybody that you work with them, uh, that was the state that I was in before. I could never really, I never really wanted to tell anybody uh, about my clients. But now, after using this method, I'm more than happy to show people what kind of clients that I have, who I work with, who I'm partnered with, because I'm proud of them. It's this insane, massive companies I never thought of working with before. That I never thought was possible uh, to work with before, to be honest, when I was stuck in the SMMA world. So, like I said, after watching countless, countless YouTube videos and courses from SMMA gurus and agency gurus in general, I was stuck doing everything wrong. Uh, and what that meant was I was never able to get even a response from one big company for that whole year that I was doing everything, my outreach and my sales in the SMMA way. Uh, and none of the clients that I signed, like I said, could pay me, could even if they wanted to, none of them could actually pay me five, five to 10K per month. And there's three reasons to why that happened. So the first one is the type of companies that I was reaching out to. So that is something that we are programmed with quite often with a lot of the gurus and even just the whole kind of like the way that the market is in, in, ter in terms of being an agency owner. We are programmed to believe that because we're beginners, uh, because we just got started out, there's no way that we can compete with guys that have results, like with guys that have case studies, with guys that have been running their agency for four or five years, or maybe even more than that. Um, so there's no point in even reaching out to the big companies. It's pointless. Just try, try you know, all, all we're told to do is try find the small companies and work with them and scale them up. But that, that whole perspective is just bullshit. It doesn't actually get you to where you want to be. And it's not true. You can 100% 
which, like I did just right here that I'm about to show you, reach out to the biggest companies you can find. Obviously, maybe not Nike and Adidas, but you can reach out to massive companies in whatever niche you've chosen to work in, uh, within e-commerce or within info products or within SaaS. And you can, if you do outreach properly in this way that I'm about to show you, then you can get in contact with them. They can respond to you. They can book in a call with you. And then on that call, if you do things right, the way that I do it, the way that I'm gonna show you, then you can 100% have the same experience that I've had, which is closing them on a massive retainer because they can pay it. They don't mind paying it if they can see that they're gonna get, they're gonna get results. So I was stuck, like I said, reaching out to companies that weren't actually big enough to pay me any big retainer. Uh, and like I said, when it comes to the, what, what these type of companies were, local businesses, smaller startup e-com brands, drop shipping stores, just overall, like just not big businesses, not big established successful companies. So I was only stuck with working companies, with companies that were kind of small and I was almost selling them on growing their company from scratch. And that never allowed me to actually sign on big clients. And what happened was, this was out of a fear. And like I said, the false belief that big brands would never reply to me. Uh, because I have no cases, case studies or testimonials or results or anything like that that I could show. Um, like I said, that is a complete false perspective and I'm sure all of you have the same. And I'm gonna show you why it's false uh, later on in the video. A second thing was the reasons to why I was never able to send on these kind of clients was because of what I was offering, my service. So I was stuck selling single basic services uh, like Facebook ads, TikTok ads, social media management, whatever else it may be, any single service, basic service. What that meant is big companies were never really interested uh, in what I was offering or what I was trying to sell, what I was trying to you know, sell to them. And because it didn't really seem valuable enough to them to even want to pay attention to me, let alone jump on a call with me. Uh, and that is the problem that so pretty much every single agency owner is facing. They are coming across in a way where they're just trying to sell a basic service. But I'm gonna show you why that will never get you to where you want to be and how I changed that and shifted into a way where it meant that the biggest type of companies like this, a nine figure, maybe even 10 figure, I'm not even sure how big they are, but they're at least a nine figure econ brand. Uh, they make around at least, I think, um, 50 to $100 million a year. Um, but in terms of valuation, obviously I don't know, uh, but in terms of revenue, it's, it's nine figures. Um, and yeah, when I was stuck selling single services, I was never able to appeal to or attract a big company. They never cared because, because obviously they get reached out to by hundreds of different agency owners, freelancers, or anyone in general that is selling them these single basic services. And if they want to themselves, they could very easily go and find uh, freelancers and third people in third world countries that can do these single services for them. So that's why it never appeals to big companies. And the third thing was, and the, probably the most important one, was the way I was doing outreach. Now, I looked and sounded like every other person reaching out to these leads. Uh, and it was only because I was trying to follow the gurus. I was trying to follow and listen to what the gurus were telling me to do from the YouTube videos, from courses, from programs. I listened to them. I did what they said. And what happened was this. I looked and sounded like everyone else. That was the, that was the issue. That was the main issue as to why I never got even a reply for my outreach. And, you know, obviously I've had my experiences, but I've seen guys that I've sent literally over 20 to 30,000 emails uh, in terms of e outreach emails um, from a software to e-com leads and they didn't even get one reply, not even one reply from over 20,000 messages. Like that, that is insane. And it's because you are doing your outreach wrong. Um, and what, what happened was there was nothing unique about me. You know, when, I, when a lead would look at my message and see my message come in or my email come in, there was nothing unique about me. And I was stuck using the same outreach methods, most, um, most importantly, mass email cold outreach uh, and also using taglines, the same sort of taglines and offer, uh, irresistible offers uh, in my sales process and, and my outreach. And you know, you probably heard them before, you maybe even probably use them to be honest, uh, unknowingly, you don't know that they're shit. Um, so for example, things like we help you scale to seven figures, we help e-com brands to scale to seven and eight figures, we add an extra 30K MRR to your business in 90 days, we help you add five clients to your business in the next 90 days, all these different lines, irresistible offers as they, as they were called by, YouTube, by YouTubers. All these things make you look less valuable and they made me look less valuable and resulted in me being ignored by every single company that I reached out to and only attracted the clients that I signed were only low quality clients. The clients that were only kind of like just startups just trying to make money. That was the only type of clients that I could sign and they could only pay me around $500 per month, maybe 1K per month max. And they probably end up leaving after a few months because they just couldn't afford anything else. And the truth is, the harsh truth is the SMMA mindset and the way of running your agency, which what I mean by that is pretty much the way you're positioning your services and also the way you're positioning your outreach will never attract an established multi seven figure company. And it's just the way it is. Doing anything, and I actually mean anything, the, the same way that gurus are showing you in the SMMA world or the agency world in general, digital marketing agency world, whatever they call it, that will never work. 
And that is the reason as to why I quit my SMMA. After running it for over a year, I quit it and I shifted to something called the Growth Partner Agency Model, which is something that I created. Now, what does a Growth Partner Agency Model mean? What is a Growth Partner Agency? Because each word, I chose these words because they have very significant meaning, uh, each one of them. Um, so the first thing, growth, the first word, what that means is you are solving the problem of growth for the companies that you work with. So your service now has evolved into growing the type of companies that you've chosen to work with through your chosen method of growth. So that, like I said before, where I said that your basic single services could never really, when you're selling basic single services like Facebook ads, when you're a Facebook ad agency or a social media management agency or a, even just a marketing agency in general, if you position yourself like that, you'll never appeal to big companies. But when you position yourself as a growth partner agency and what you are selling is growth, a kind of holistic service doesn't mean that you do everything for them i'm going to show you what that means but when you are selling growth it's much more appealing uh, because the trust in terms of them trusting you to take care of a lot of things for them that means they're happy paying you a lot more money now when it comes to partner what that means is you partner with these companies that you've chosen to work with in the world's biggest industries that's a very very important point with the growth partner agency, with the model that I created, you do not reach out to small companies. You do not reach out to local businesses. You reach out to the biggest industries in the world and the biggest companies within that industry. So you want to reach out to companies that are only making at least 50K a month, 30K a month at a minimum. Uh, but usually, for example, like this one, this company is making multiple seven figures per month. And that is the type of companies that you can work with when you use this model. Uh, and you get paid a monthly retainer and a revenue share. So what that looks like in reality is usually the range of retainers that I've signed. I've signed a lot of the kind of higher retainers, but for the guys that I've taught as well, it's usually around minimum 5K per month to 10K per month and also 5 to 15% of the revenue you generate for them. That, that's what you take as rev share. And when it comes to agency, the reason the word agency is there is because this signifies that you are you have it you have a team behind you you have a specialized team not just some, you're not outsourcing it you're not just like drop servicing or art service arbitraging um, you have a specialized team that you will build when you have clients that fulfill your service delivery for you and you also have multiple offerings not services but offerings that you can sell to companies and I'll explain what that means in a minute. So the truth is, um, just like I said, the SMMA way the SMMA way of running things will never send you any of these clients. You, I, myself, and all of the guys that I've taught have only signed on these massive companies because of because we used and I used the growth partner agency model. And quickly as well, if you want to access a free course that I spent the last few months building uh, on how I built and scaled my own growth partner agency from zero to over 50K per month in six months, and obviously a lot bigger since then, um, by sending big companies for five to 10K per month, as well as having the chance to book a one-on-one -on -one call with me, literally you're able to have a one-on-one a one -on -one call with me for completely free, no payments whatsoever, where you can ask me anything, uh, any sort of questions you have, about let's say for example you're already running an agency you want to shift into doing it this way uh, you want to start an agency whatever it may be whatever situation you're in if you have any questions for me and you want my help then if you want that opportunity to actually book in a one-on-one -on -one call with me as well as access, accessing a free course that I've built showing you how I did this in a lot more detail then click the link in the description and join my free community uh, it's hosted on school if you click that description down below you'll see that there's, you get access to the free course uh, you, get, you get access to a link where you can book a one-on-one -on -one call with me and you can also there's a lot of other things in there as well I'll show you on screen right now but I'll talk about it later on in the video so go ahead right now while you're watching this video, go and click that button, um, open another tab, si uh, sign up and join the group and I'll, I'll accept you uh, if you're the right fit in the, in the next day or so uh, maximum. So let's go on to the exact outreach method that I use to close this client, which is pretty much the outreach method that I use to close all of my clients. Uh, and that kind of process is called the warm loom method. It's something that I've created uh, in the past few years after tr trialing and erroring pretty much every, every single method that there is out there uh, to use. And the key aspects of this method that actually make it work is these two things. So the first thing is you come across as approachable, uh, authentic, and genuine. Compared to the normal way of doing outreach, like I'm sure you are doing it, if you're doing outreach right now, I'm sure you're doing it this way, where you're trying to worry so much and overthink it so much when it comes to how am I doing the copywriting, how you're being salesy, how direct and short to the punch you're being, and how you know, just trying to, you're, you're trying to sell the, uh, you know, the lead on, on you know, booking on a call with you straight away or trying to just even sell the services straight away. I'm sure that's the way you're doing it. And I'm sure when you look at your email, when you look at it, if you got sent that email yourself, you would never reply to it if it's from a random email. So if you would never reply to it, why would a seven figure, found, a founder of a seven figure company ever reply to it, even look at it? So you have, to, you have to genuinely come across and write your emails or you write your messages or write everything you do in a way where you're genuinely thinking that you're trying to connect with that person on a personal level, not trying to sell them on a service, not trying to sell them on anything actually. You're just trying to give them value and help them. And that goes into the second thing, which is you give value before you ask for anything. 
a lot of pretty much every, every single person, including me for over a year, made the mistake of trying to pitch a call on the first touch point. When you first ever reach out to the customer or the, the prospect, you try to pitch a call and like that, that will just never work. It's just the truth. It will never, ever work because why would they ever trust you? Why would they commit their energy so much? Why would they commit, get, you know, give you the commitment of booking in a one-on-one -on -one call with you, giving, their, giving you their time or even replying to the message uh, if you're giving them zero value first? And obviously they're getting you know hundreds of messages or emails per day from people that look the exact same as you. So with this method, you're giving value before you ask of anything. Obviously the main thing you're asking for is for them to book in a call with you, which obviously then you can go on and sell them. And the third thing is you come across, especially in your first touch point, and actually every touch point to be honest, um, as an expert in your space, not an agency trying to sign them on as a client. So nowhere in your messaging or your emails or anything at all, will you try to, are you trying to come across like an agency? They, tr they want to trust one person. They want to trust a person. So they, they buy into the person. They don't want to buy into an agency. Maybe yes, when they sign on with you, they'll, they'll obviously they'll buy into the agency. But when it comes to the outreach, they want to see that you are a genuine person. They don't want to be reached out to by an agency because they will never reply to it because they get hundreds and hundreds of uh, emails per day and messages per day um, from agencies or from freelancers in general that come across like an agency saying that, you know, we have this many clients, we've done this and that, and we can do the same for you. You know, does that sound good? Are you interested? That will never work. So let's go through the exact process that I used to sign this client and then pretty much the majority of other clients that I've signed with a few exceptions. So step one is something called Instagram outreach. Now, the first touch point of my outreach is always on Instagram. Now, why is that the case? Because it's the easiest platform to reach e-com brands whilst being these two things. First thing is it's easy to scale up the volume of outreach, meaning that you can scale up the number that you're doing per day in terms of outreaches without losing the chance of getting replies. So I'll, and I'll explain how we do that in a minute. And second is you can build the most trust on the first touch point with minimal effort. So how this setup looked like for me uh, that I use and that I still use to this day is I had five aged Instagram accounts that I bought that were fully optimized to look like at first glance. So for example, when a lead would click on my message then click on my profile to see who it was messaging them, when they looked at this profile, it genuinely looked like a like an expert reaching out to them. Like, and what I mean by that is everything just looked real. So the profile picture was there, looked good. The username looked like a normal person. The bio was like, made me look like an expert. I had a link in bio, which was my website. I had a post that I made. I made reels that looked high quality, giving advice about whatever it was that I was selling. I had posts and photos and all this different stuff. So that on first glance, when they clicked on the profile, it looked real. And this is the mistake that a lot of people make when they try Instagram reach, when they never get replies, it's because they're reaching out, they're reaching out to leads from just some random account, from their personal account, that just looks like a, just a spam account, really. There's no posts, if there, if there is, is any post, it doesn't look like, a, like an expert, it just looks like a random person. So you want to create this profile in a way where when the lead looks at it, it's like, oh, this person is worth replying to. They're, you're clearly serious, they're clearly someone that I, could, I should reply to and maybe pass on to my founder, if it's not actually the founder looking at your DM. And so, yeah, I had these five accounts set up, if not even more than five accounts. And the reason I have five accounts is to split across the, the number of outreaches per account. So for example, if I wanted to send 100 messages per day, I would send 20 messages per account per day. And the reason I do that is to, to make sure that I don't get banned. Instagram is quite, you know, like strict when it comes to if you just start spamming out messages, you just won't get replies. And it's very easy to fall into the um, the spam filter and fall into the, the in, like not in the inbox, but in the... Um, the like the, the other filter that, that Instagram has when you have to click on the requests. It's very easy to fall into that, but to not fall into that, you have to be very, very careful. Uh, and there's a very clear process and like SOP to follow uh, to make sure you don't get banned. And having multiple accounts is one of those things. You have to have multiple accounts and send less volume from each account. Um, then obviously adds up to around 100, maybe even 200 messages per day from each account, uh, but you split it up to make sure you don't get banned. And the third thing is, I had, I had a virtual assistant that I trained. So somebody from the Philippines, I trained them on how I source leads and how I message leads on Instagram uh, through these Instagram accounts. And what I would pay them is around $300 per month. So it was very, very cheap, but they were pretty much take over the role from me. So I was never doing outreach from day one. After I shifted from SMMA to, this, to my growth partner agency, from day one, I never did one outreach. Till to this day, I've not done one outreach in my life. It's all been done by my VA because I've trained them properly on how I did it myself so that they could do it for me from day one. And that was a key aspect uh, as to why I scaled so quickly because 
they made sure that the consistency in terms of the volume was was there. You know, they made sure that there was at least 50 to 100 messages being sent per day and they were all being followed up with, they were all being moved around to the right places uh, and nothing was ever, you know, uh, inconsistent or like nothing was ever just not done. So that was a very, very important point. Now, when it comes to the RG outreach process, my VA did it for me, of course, like I said, and I paid them $300 per month from the start, but it, but it can be done yourself. It is possible to, to obviously do it yourself. So the way that the process works is number one, what you do is you find leads on Google by searching things like, for example, I was in the supplement kind of health space. Uh, that's the space that I like to be in, in terms of the clients I like to work with. So I would search, for example, the best energy supplements in the US, the best gut health supplements in the US. You can do you can do this with any industry, uh, any niche at all. The best clothing brands in the US, the best, uh, God knows what else, tech brands in the US. Anything you want to, you can just search up on Google and that will be your first place to find brands. Then from there, after I found a good lead, usually from a website, from a forum, from a review website, from a discovery platform, there's loads of different things depending on the, on the niche you're in. Then from there, I would then go, go and find the IG uh, of that lead, their IG, the IG account, and through the optimized accounts, I would then send the lead a message. So then from there, the whole goal of that first message, like I said, is not to pitch them the call. You're not, you're not trying to sell them on your service or trying to sell them on a call. You try, what you're trying to do in that first touch point is convert them from a cold to a warm lead. Now, what I mean by that is you are asking in the message for their email. So that is what turns them into a warm lead. When they give you their email back, uh, that is what turns them into a warm lead. And what you're trying to do uh, as, as to why you want their email is you want to send them a, a Loom video that you've made that has actionable advice that their marketing team should use. So for example, uh, I'll give an example of what, what you know how I would frame this in the message that I would write. So for example, when it comes to this point in the message, uh, I'd say, I made a quick Loom video for you where I gave loads of actionable insights into how myself and my team scale our e-com brands or maybe one of our partners in, sp in specific if you have an example to talk about utilizing UGC creatives and TikTok growth frameworks, which is, which, uh, and I also say, which email is it best to shoot the link over to so it reaches the CEO or CMO? That is the call to action. The call to action is not, are you interested? It's not, does this sound good? It's not, um, how does this sound? It's not anything like that. It's very clear. The only thing I want from them to reply, which makes it easy for them to reply to me, is which email is it best to send it over to? And this is why you'll see in a minute right now why it's so easy to get replies from massive brands because all you're asking them for is the email, nothing else. You're not asking, to, asking them to, to tell you if they're interested, if they wanna learn more, if they wanna jump on a call. All you're asking for is their email. And that is what converts a lead from cold to warm. And so you guys can see some examples. Uh, so what it actually looks like when you start getting replies from the messages you send out. This is a screenshot of the uh, report that my VA gives me at the end of every day. Uh, like I said, my VA that I trained personally manages the entire process after I built it. So she sends the messages, she sources the leads, she replies to them, all that kind of stuff. Um, and this is what she says to, sends to me every single day. She tells me exactly what's been done, how many messages have been sent, how many warm leads have been generated. And uh, usually we generate around seven to 10 warm leads per day uh, on average. Um, and then for example, when it comes to the replies, like I said, all we're asking for is their email. So all they send us back, no matter how big the brand is, is their email. So for example, hello, please email this, please send your proposal to this just maybe even just send their email. Um, and if you're wondering why it's Kelly, it's because for my outreach accounts, for some of them anyway, uh, I use my team member called Kelly. So that's why uh, the name is Kelly because it's like uh, just one of my team members that was the face of the account. Um, so yeah, you can see here, this is the exact same exact sort of setup you should be having. And it's, exa it's the exact setup that my, um, the guys that I've showed you, uh, who, I t who I've taught uh, that had the results that I showed you at the start, um, this is the same system that they have set up. So they have their VA replying to them and, and, and reporting to them every single day. Uh, on what replies they've gotten, how many warm leads they've generated. And then going into step two, like I said, of course, when they send you their email, the next step is to then go ahead and send them over the value loom. So to describe what the value loom is, it's a loom video. Obviously, you know what loom is, kind of like the video you're watching right now, uh, where like your face is going to be on the screen and also you're going to be presenting your screen, screen sharing. And what you're going to be going over is a presentation. And this presentation uh, is pretty much going to show the lead uh, your expertise in it when it comes to what it is you offer and what you can do for them uh, and also give them actionable advice like advice that they genuinely value and that they think is actually very good so for example the replies that I get uh, you know, when I send the loom uh, they always thank me they always say you know thanks for the great information I really appreciate it really grateful for the fact you reached out to me that is how good your information should be uh, and of course like I said the information you're giving should be aligned with what it is you offer so when you're giving information and advice on whatever it is you're giving about, that should make them interested to hear more from you about, you know, obviously then what it is you offer because you're giving advice on that specific topic. So for me, for example, I'll tell you later on as well, but for me, for example, I'd give advice around how to how, how a brand can grow through UGC creatives, 
through you know having creators as affiliates uh, through paid ads and all that kind of stuff and then that makes them interested in wanting to book in a call to then learn from me uh, how they can do it in, uh, in a better way or how I can do it for them. When it comes to the structure of the loom, um, it's usually around five to seven minutes long. If you make it longer, it's a bit too long, so keep it to five, five to seven minutes. Uh, the first thing you do is introduce yourself. Second thing you do is, for example, for me, I have like two or three slides that show examples that I play uh, of creatives, of ad creatives that either I've made or when I didn't have any to show, I'd show examples of creatives that other brands uh, were, were uh, making and told them this is what you should be doing for your brand. Then from there, I had one or two slides on actionable advice. Like I said, proper advice, good advice around whatever it is that you offer. And then the last thing that I do is I have a call to action, meaning that I pretty much say at the end of the, at the, end of the video, um, I could talk for hours, but you know, um, I'll leave a link to the to my Calendly, which is a scheduler, uh, and a button on Loom, which you can do. Um, so you can book in a time with me uh, and we can talk more and I can give you more advice in detail with you and your team on the call, uh, blah, 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 whatever it may be. And then obviously the goal of the Loom, the first thing is to get the lead to actually genuinely, in a sense, respect you and value you and think that you're actually, you know, they're kind of grateful for the fact that you reach out to them uh, because of the advice you've given them. And the second thing is that you actually get them to actually book in that call with you. Now, obviously all the time, you know, doesn't always happen that they book in a call with you from that one loom, from the loom you send them. Obviously it's happened to me multiple times uh, and pretty much for a lot of my clients, but for some of them, for example, with this uh, client in specific, they didn't actually book in the call from that loom. What happened is you then move on to step three, which is sending them the automatic email follow-ups. So after I send them the loom, um, yeah, within the same day with this lead, they did watch the loom, but then they didn't book in a call. So what happens then is you add them into, I created two sequences, uh, which is like just a, yeah, just sequences on, on a platform called Instantly, which is what I use for emails. And th these sequences um, pretty much just send automatic emails every, every like, and I had pretty much a, a two to five day or maybe even six day delay in between each email. And I had two sequences. So the first what, first one I called Watch the Loom Sequence. The whole goal of this, every single call to action is never anything like, are you interested? It's never anything like booking a call. It's all just making them, you know, getting, to, getting them to actually click the link and watch the video. Then when I get notification back, from uh, Loom that they've watched the video, they then get moved into the next sequence, which is the appointment setting sequence. This, this sequence, of course, the whole, all the CTAs, again, they're never, are you interested? It's never, how does this sound? It's never, you know, what are your thoughts? It's always the only CTAs ever to set, uh, get them to click the link of the Calendly and then book in a call through there. Uh, and obviously I do that in a very specific way. But that is the only goal. You want to make sure you never um, confuse your call to actions. They're always very clear. And I, in the first sequence, it's to get them to watch the loom. The second sequence is to get them to book in a call. Never anything else. And for example, here is actually the screenshot that I had of, of, that, of this lead booking in the call. So you can see here, had they booked in the call on a 6 p.m. on a Friday. I had like three calls that day, which is pretty, which is pretty mad. Uh, I'll, make, I'll make another video uh, for my free community uh, on how I book this many calls, uh, like three, four calls a day. Um, so just make, make sure you go ahead and join. Uh, links, links down below in the, in the description of the video. And then from there, when it comes to what offer or service I actually sold them on for 8K, 8K a month, obviously you're thinking, you know, how, how can I provide a service or sell an offer that they, that they would want to pay 8K a month for? And like I said before, I give a little bit of detail, but to give you uh, the, the real detail, uh, what my agency does, I run a growth partner agency, uh, as obviously like I, like I walked you through, that partners with e-com brands and helps them grow and scale through TikTok, UGC creatives, paid ads, and creators. So essentially I could narrow it down to just saying I help brands grow through TikTok, but it does involve quite a few things. It's a very holistic service uh, where we use whatever a brand needs to, to use uh, to grow through TikTok and just social media in general, but especially TikTok. Um, and that is, for example, UGC creatives, paid ads, and working with creators as affiliates. So instead of just selling services, I sell offers. So it's very important, like I said before, at the start, you no longer as a growth partner agency uh, can, can just sell one you know, single basic services. So I don't just sell TikTok ads or don't just sell UDC creators by itself uh, as my main offer. What I do is I sell something and I show every single prospect that, that I jump on call with as my, my main offer, which is something called a growth partnership. It's the offer where I implement my full uh, growth system. So my growth system in a sense is the process that I take uh, my ideal client through where I implement everything that they would need to implement to then grow their brand through TikTok, for example. And that is stuff like what I've said here. Uh, UDC creatives, paid ads, creators, all that kind of stuff. But I also then do, because like I said, in the word agency, in the growth partner agency model, uh, like I said before, agency, that one of the things that signifies is that you have multiple offerings that you sell to clients. 
And one of those offerings that I do sell to clients if they want it is just selling them UGC ad creatives and organic content production. So I just produce the content for them. Uh, and that's it, Nothing, no ads, nothing else. So I have two main offers. I also have two other offers. Uh, I'll go over, again, I'll make another video, uh, if I haven't already actually, uh, in my free community where I go over what, exactly what my offers are and how I built them and how you can build them for yourself. But um, yeah, these are my two main offers that brands usually want to buy from me. Uh, and that I sell for around at least 5K a month, up to 8K a month, even 10K a month, if not even more. And with this specific lead, this is exactly how I took the call. Um, so first is, of course, I jumped on the call. I built rapport with the, uh, with the prospect. I asked some questions about, you know, just them in general, where they're from, where they're based. And I also then told them my background. Uh, and then second, I got to know what the brand, uh, the person I jumped on call with wasn't actually the founder. It was the CMO, uh, the one who ran the marketing. So I asked them, you know, what the brand was doing with their marketing, what they needed to, what they needed help with, what they, you know, haven't been able to do properly yet with their current team. And I then, when at, at some point in the conversation within around 15 minutes, I then shared my screen and then ran through something called the, the growth partnership proposal doc. This proposal doc is, is, is in a sense, I developed it in a way, and again, I will make a video about this, and if not, if I haven't already actually, and essentially, this proposal doc is developed in a way where it handles all the sales for me. And you can actually watch a sales call recording uh, of one of my sales calls inside of the uh, free community. There's a, link, there's a link to one in there. And in a sense, it pretty much handles everything for me. And uh, The main three things that I go over in the proposal doc is first, why we're the best option to help the brand grow. Uh, the second thing is why our growth system, the process that we implement with brands, is exactly what they need and why they would need it and want it. And the third thing is obviously running through the pricing. and doing that in a way that makes them believe that paying us for example 8k a month is actually very cost efficient for them compared to any other option that they have even doing it themselves and then number four of course i answered all their questions about in general growing their brand through TikTok creatives and also what we do and how we how we would implement it for them and then last what happened was they asked me uh how, how can you move forward this sounds really good let's get started uh and then what happened was i sent them over an email on the call uh, this email has three things the first thing was the Stripe link to, to, pay, to process the first 8K payment. Uh, the second thing was the uh, Slack invite link. And the third thing was uh, the onboarding form link. So that, that pretty much makes the makes them feel like they're already a client um, when I send them over that email. And I also make sure to, on, that, on that first call, no matter what happens, to book in a second call, just to make sure that there's not a case of, you know, them saying yes, but then not contacting me for like two, three weeks. There was, I made sure there was a second call booked. I think it was around four, four or five days later, um, just, reg just regardless if they send on or not, just to make sure that they have that accountability there to reply to me uh, and, and whatever else. And also one really important thing is, that they did not ask me for any results, for any testimonials, for any case studies, for any examples of my work. And that was mainly due to how I built so much trust through the way that I did the call and also went through the proposal doc and what was in the proposal doc. And obviously, like I said, I closed them for $8K per month, which is 6K pounds is why you can see 6K because it's pounds. I, I'm in the UK, so I charge pounds, but that does convert to 8K in dollars. Uh, and what they're paying us for is to implement our growth system and produce uh, a larger amount of, of UGC creatives uh, for their brand and also organic content for their brand. Um, so yeah, uh, and since then as well, just to show you guys, here's some other, the, here's uh, are some of the other clients that we've signed. Uh, and I wanna show you this because I want you to feel like there is, now that you've watched this video, pretty much you know, you know the strategy that I have used to send all of these clients. And like I told you, I was a complete beginner. I was in your situation most likely uh, when I was beginning. I had no case studies. I had no idea about anything to do with e-com or TikTok or anything to do with anything that I was doing, but, doing this process in the right way, uh, by outreaching in the right way, by building my offers in the right way, and everything that I do go through inside the free course and my free community, when I did all of this stuff, I was able to attract and appeal to and close all these companies you see on here, and obviously a lot more than this, it's just a few of them. So I want you guys to realize as well, as well and the reason that's why I'm making this video and all the other videos that I make and, and, and why I made the free community with all the information in there is for you to realize that you can do this yourself. There's nothing stopping you from doing this exact same thing. There's no need for you to sign on, you know, beginner brands or, uh, you know, kind of just very low scale brands. I can't pay you anything or companies in general, no matter what stage you're at, you can sign, you know, companies this big that I'm showing you right now because I did it and I'm not, I'm not special. Um, so yeah, I hope, I hope you guys found that valuable. I hope you guys really enjoyed that. And uh, if you want access to this doc that I went through for you to, for, for you to go through it yourself. And also, like I said, the free course um, on, that I built on how I built and scaled my own growth partner agency. 
um, to, from zero to over 50K per month by sending companies like this for, for around five to 10K uh, per month, then click the link in the description uh, and join my free community. Um, yeah, pretty much it's completely free. There's no payments whatsoever. And also in there for the next couple of weeks, not for very long, I'm gonna allow the guys who took that I let in to book in a one-on-one -on -one call with me. Again, completely free, no payments whatsoever. And on this call, you can just ask me anything you want about building your own growth partner agency or scaling your current agency. Uh, whatever it may be uh, and I'm just going to be there to give you as much value as I possibly can uh, and share whatever I can with you to make sure that you know the exact roadmap you need to take to get to where you want to be with your agency and also just with your life as well um, and also as well to make sure as well to go ahead and follow me on Instagram it's at Casa Macrum, uh, just my name uh, I'll leave the link in the description too so you can, you can just click that and follow me there uh, I post quite a lot of stuff on there you can see me you know you can DM me as well if you have any questions that you want to ask me personally uh, other than that guys like I said I hope you enjoyed make sure you leave a comment below on how, what you thought of this video uh, how you found it uh, any other videos you want me to make uh, and of course subscribe to the channel uh, I'm going to be posting at least two three videos every single week uh, putting a lot of time into just making these video for you, videos for you guys just to give you value and um, just pretty much inspire you and, and give you the right strategies that you need to know and use to get to where you want to be. Um, so inshallah, we'll see you inside of the free community and hopefully on our free on the call that you book with me one-on-one -on -one as well when you join. And uh, I'll see you in our next video.